It's a beautiful morning from this part of the world. Good morning to you all. And how are you doing today? So let's quickly do this. If you can see my screen and you can hear my voice clearly, kindly type in hi in the comment section so that we can get the session started. So let's quickly do this. If you can see my screen, you can hear my voice. Kindly type in hi in the comment section. So I want to see some response. Okay. What do we have here? All right. Thank you very much, Carrie. Good morning to you. And how are you doing today? All right. Okay. 785. Thank you. Fred Doral, good morning. 874, good morning to you. Thank you very much for that confirmation. All right. So I want to take this as a confirmation that we are good to go. So I welcome you all to yet another promising session on the x trend speed live and as usual i will be taking you on a trading journey in the next one hour where we shall be evaluating the financial market using technical parameters to identify trading opportunities lining up for us today my name is sheriff daramola and let's dive into the chat and let's see what is going on in the market right now so the first thing we will do today as usual we are going to be um, reviewing all the pairs we have been monitoring since monday so we are going to be looking at how well these pairs are doing after which we're going to be making a decision for today and if there are any other advices i will be dishing them through the course of the session so try as much as possible to stay tuned in so that you don't miss out on any of these high days that we shall be talking about here in the next one hour so um well yesterday was quite interesting for most of the major pairs i actually made some very important trade because of the bearish expectation we were expecting on most of these major pairs well we shall be talking how that went by and what our next plan is going to be like so for today we really don't have any major event coming up on the economic calendar so there are no macroeconomic news that might likely um, serve as a catalyst to drive price action so we just want to strictly look at what is really happening on the market so we have a better psychology better understanding of the psychology behind the price movement currently on the charts so the first pair we are going to be looking at today is as usual the u.s oil and on the u.s oil yesterday we had quite a very interesting scenario yesterday where price finally broke down that bullish trend line that we identified during the live session yesterday to incite that bearish move we have witnessed here in the last 24 hours and look at what we have here we have a uh, price move over 350 pips move in our favor and since um the later part of the new york session yesterday as soon as price got into the 77 dollar level we have been witnessing a consolidation phase around this area to emphasize the indecision in this market so with the look of things right now on the um on the us oil chart on the one hour time frame that we are here right now what is the next line of action so as you can see here we have this bearish impulsive move that took price right into the 77 dollar level and since then we have been caught within a consolidation phase around this area to emphasize the indecision in this market right now so participants are actually looking at a possible situation where price might likely break out of the structure to send price go back to the upside that is one scenario we want to be looking at today or we could be having a trend continuation pattern in such a way that we have a breakdown of the 77 dollar level retest of structure sending price crashing further to the downside so these are the two scenarios that might likely happen at this point so the next thing we want to be doing right now is to scale up to the daily time frame and let's see what is happening from an holistic perspective 
to see if um this bearish momentum that we um this bearish expectation will continue to go to the downside or we might be having uh, um and a move to the upside from this level so scaling up to the daily time frame what do we have here so on the daily time frame well we all understand the fact that price has been on a long-term bullish momentum so i really don't need to talk about that this morning so let's just dive in through the current structure that we have here that is between the month of september and the present moment and if we dive into that current structure there is a um a couple of structures here that is very important that we take um uh, better understanding of before we want to be taking any trade here well the first structure we have here on the daily time frame is the very important key level had the 85 dollar level which i explained to you during the course of the week that has been holding price action um supported at one point in time in the month of august and we saw selling pressure later in the month of of september which led to a final breakdown of that structure and throughout the month of september price traded right below the 85 dollar level to emphasize the strength of the sellers at that point however during the month of october we saw this impulsive move that broke out of the 85 dollar level which also shares a confluence with the bearish trend line that has been holding selling pressure um in the last four to five months then we saw the situation where price came back to do the retest of structure with the hope that price might likely continue to the upside but unfortunately for the buyers sellers took over this market negated all buying pressure around the 93 dollar 50 cent level to incite um a further bearish momentum and as you can see here in the last couple of weeks now we saw how this bearish momentum took price right into the 85 dollar level did a final breakdown of that structure during the course of last week trading session and right now we find ourselves around the 78 dollar level now there is something very peculiar with the 78 dollar area and as you can see here we have the structure identified here and you can see what happened around here since the month of september we saw how this level has been holding buying pressure as every attempt by the sellers to break down the structure has been met with strong resistance from the buyers here by pushing price to the upside the same thing happened here last week we saw the same situation here where that area also started holding buying pressure with signs that we might be having another situation where buying pressure might take price right back into the 85 dollar level or the bullish trend line that has been holding bullish pressure since the beginning of the year so with the situation here there are actually two scenarios we were looking at at the beginning of the week the first situation we were looking at is a possible um bullish momentum that could spring out of this area back into either the key level at the 85 dollar level or the bullish trend line that you can see on your screen with the green color and what is the um, rationale behind this perspective here when you look at the structure closely look at how price broke down both the bullish trend line and the key level at the 85 dollar mark a very important confluence here and what happened from a technical standpoint is that whenever we have a breakdown of a structure like this there is a tendency that price might likely come back to do a retest of the structure that was broken uh with um with plans to incite another wave of a bearish momentum so that is the rationale behind that expectation that price might likely come back into the 85 dollar level area and since the beginning of the week uh we haven't been seeing that bullish momentum actually from this area at this point as you can see yesterday how the yesterday candle closed it was an a huge engulfing candle taking price right into the structure so we're still within that demand zone anyway so um there's still a tendency that we could be having buying pressure at that point but that does not um negates the possibility of a bearish momentum outrightly from this area so the other scenario which leads us to the other scenario that we might be looking forward to at this point now um the next scenario is a possible trend continuation pattern around here uh, it could be a bearish rectangular pattern or a wedge whatever it is breakdown retest of structure my likely same price crashing to the downside so these are the two scenarios we uh, projected at the beginning of the week around this area 
and in order to understand what is really going on around this area it was very important for us to dive into a much lower time frame to look at what is really happening here let's see how participants in this market has been relating to the 78 dollar area since the beginning of the week so now we will have to scale down to a much lower time frame and that is the one hour time frame and what do we have here on the one hour time frame so on the one hour time frame hold on a second i'm trying to load up my chart here all right okay so here we are so right here on the one hour time frame like we already uh figured out at the beginning of the session is that we have been within a consolidation phase which is right within the 78 dollar level and the 77 dollar 30 cent area emphasizing the indecision in this market right now so looking at the structure we have here and looking at it from a couple of weeks ago we can see that um first of four we have this bearish trend line that has been holding certain pressure in the last two weeks and as a result of this we were able to connect the series of lower highs here to give us that result and bearish trend line and it appears that since last since a couple of weeks ago price has continued to respect that trend line we also had that same scenario here during the course of this week as we saw uh, a double touch of that area though price was unable to test that trend line which um at uh inability of price to test that trend line is a sign that the selling pressure is so strong that price cannot even go back to test that trend line now we saw this bearish move at the beginning of the week here remember we had a situation at the beginning of the week where price was caught within this consolidation phase around the 80 dollar level and the 79 dollar area so we we took advantage of this bearish impulsive move to the downside which gave us i think about 360 pips there about before another wave moved to the upside here and one thing we notice here is that as soon as price got into the 75 dollar level i think the 76 dollar area around here price climbed up and if we look at this impulsive move that happened yesterday we saw that the lowest point it could get to was the 77 dollar level so it was unable to break the previous low here that's more or less a sign that we might be having a higher low around this area that might incite a trend continuation to the upside and coupled with the fact that we have a consolidation phase here uh it's could turn out to be a reversal pattern and that might likely trade to the upside from this level so what i will be looking at here is if this is going to turn out to be a reversal pattern that is we start seeing uh if this turns out to be a reversal pattern we want to see a breakout of the 78 dollar level retest of structure in our lower time frame then we could actually join the trend continuation to the upside and if a trend continuation to the upside on this one happens that is price breaks out of the 78 dollar level here then I want to be using the $85 area. Remember, we identified this $85 level on the on the daily time frame, which is a very strong key level on uh, at, on the daily time frame. So I want to be looking at price coming into that structure. But even though we are looking at the $85 level as our take profit target, we need to be very very mindful uh, of any possible bearish momentum that can likely happen around this area uh we need to take into consideration that in the last two weeks price has been trending on the lower side and there is a tendency that we could be having um, another wave of bearish momentum at any point in time from this current juncture in this market so the move we are taking right here if price breaks out of the 78 dollar level is more or less a counter trend opportunity so if price continues to the upside here we want to make sure that we guide our position judiciously well and one thing i'll be suggesting here is that as soon as price moves on to the upside let's try as much as possible to move our stop loss accordingly as we have a couple of structures here that we can be using as our yardstick to um, guide our position here so the first structure i will be identifying here is the 79 dollar level so as soon as price gets into the 79 dollar level we move our stop loss to break even at this point and if price breaks above the 79 dollar level into the 80 dollar area here 
we move our stop loss to right below the 79 dollar area and as soon as price gets into this bearish trend line here which shares a confluence with the 81 dollar level which has been a major determinant of price action since the beginning of this week well at this point i uh, will be advising us to move our stop loss to somewhere right below the 80 dollar area and let's see how price action will relate with this bearish trend line during the new york session so um we we'll, there are two scenarios that might likely happen here we could have a reversal pattern right below or around the 81 dollar 10 cent level probably evolve into selling pressure right below that structure to send price going to the downside one more time that is one possible scenario that could likely happen around that area and then the other scenario that we might be looking forward to is price breaking out of that structure and then if price breaks out of the bearish trend line that is a sign that this bearish trend line can no longer hold selling pressure anymore at this point as i will be seeing this as a bullish signal and if that happens remember we are not getting too excited a retest of the 81 dollar level or the bearish trend line here with followed by buying pressure on lower time frame could welcome another opportunity to add more position to our existing trade so that is my perspective on buying the us hoyer during the new york session today then the other possible scenario here uh if we take into consideration this bearish impulsive move that we have been witnessing since the beginning of the week and looking at the structure we have here this could turn out to be a bearish rectangular pattern which is more or less a strong trend continuation pattern so if a breakdown of the 77 dollar level happens that is 77 30 cent level happens during the new york session today well at this point that could likely be a bearish signal that will be sending price crashing further to the downside so these are the scenarios that i will be looking forward to on the us oil for today and let's see how price action will play out in the next couple of hours around that um key level key zone that we have identified that is the key channel rather between the 78 dollar level and the 77 dollar area in the next couple of hours to decipher if we are going upward or downward at this point so um i think i'll take a close here on the us oil if you have any questions or you need further clarification in an aspect i've just explained so far feel free to drop in your inquiries in the comment section in so i will be taking the next 10 to 15 seconds to read through the chats and see if there are any questions whatsoever before we move on to the next pair so what do we have here Three five seven two. Good morning from a. Hey, good morning from Spain. Glad to have you around. So you're welcome on board. I hope you stay tuned in to the end of the session so that you don't miss out on any of the um expectations that we'll be dishing out today. So we have Zara Hem. Good morning. Hi Rari. Um nine six zero. You're welcome. Bernice. Good morning. Bunkan Soma. Good morning to you hey innocent babe good morning how are you doing today uh we have kong maya koko or i hope i pronounce that appropriately good morning to you and we have farouk good morning farouk all right so in the absence of no question i want to assume that this is well understood so let's dive into the next option which is the us tech the us tech was a very good trade for us yesterday as we continue to see that bullish momentum continue to ride above the eleven thousand seven hundred dollar area so where are we during the live session yesterday so during the live session yesterday we were around the eleven thousand seven twenty five level which i newly identified for us yesterday that is for those who missed out on the opportunity we took advantage of here a couple of days right above the eleven thousand six hundred dollar level so we cited the eleven thousand seven twenty five area during the live session yesterday where we said we are going to be looking out for a breakout retest of that level to give us a leverage to add more position to the trade. and for those who missed out on this position here yesterday that we could be taking advantage of buying the us tech 
right above the 11,725 level and i told you to move your stop loss to somewhere right below the 11,700 dollar area and this is exactly what happened yesterday we had the breakout of that structure at 11,725 level a very important key structure which um i told you was holding the resistant level since the beginning of the week this is where price started the week at the 11,725. So we saw the breakout of that structure and then price came back to do multiple retest of that level. So in fact, the market gave us quite a lot of opportunity to add more position to this. So if you had missed, missed this, you would have had uh, uh, various opportunities here, which lasted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost ten hours. We had multiple rejection right above that eleven thousand seven twenty five dollar level followed by buying pressure around that area on our lower time frame which gave us a leverage to join the rally from that level so for those who took advantage of this move kudos to you for being on standby to take advantage of this move as price has continued to move to the upside so if you had taken that move from this area you will currently be running with over a hundred and seventy pips in profit and for those who took it from this level on monday you will be running with over 300 pips in profit so we are not doing bad on the us tech at this point in time now going into the um the new york session today uh, well when i woke up this morning i saw another structure around the eleven thousand eight fifty dollar level as we saw our price broke out that structure here during the early hours of today though this level was holding selling pressure at one point in time during the new york session yesterday so we finally saw the breakout of the structure here this morning and price came back to do a retest of the structure three hours ago and then another opportunity was presented as the market rejected that level with buying pressure and price has continued to go to the upside from this level so for those who took advantage of this move as well kudos to you for that opportunity for that for taking advantage of that opportunity so let's see how price action is going to play out in the next couple of hours now for those who had missed out on all of these opportunities here well let's see if the market is going to be presented us with another chance to join this rally now the first thing i want to do here for the sake of those who missed out on the beginning of the session at the beginning of this week i will be scaling up to the daily time frame let's quickly have an holistic view of what is really happening in this market and let's see how far this bullish momentum might go before we start seeing any bearish momentum herein so the first thing we'll do here is to scale up to the daily time frame and here on the daily time frame what do we have here so scaling up to the daily time frame let's see what is happening on the daily time frame okay so we have um we are on the daily time frame here and on the daily time frame obviously the first thing we observe on the daily time frame is that price action has been on a long term bearish momentum in fact a bearish momentum that has been holding selling pressure since the beginning of the year and as a result of this we were able to connect the series of lower highs here to give us that resultant bearish trend line that you can see on your screen so this is the major bearish trend line that has been holding selling pressure since the beginning of the year now the most important structure that we have on the daily time frame is the eleven thousand dollar mac and how is that well if you look at the structure here we saw that um since the month of june every attempt by the sellers to push price below the structure has been met with strong resistance from the buyers as participants in this market deem it fit to buy the u.s tech from this area in this market now the same thing happened here in the month of september we saw buying pressure from this area again but as you can see here the buy pressure here wasn't strong enough as it was met with um resistance from the sellers around the eleven thousand seven hundred dollar mark and remember this eleven thousand seven hundred dollar mark was a key level for us for this week it was serving as a strong key level key level for us for this week as we saw how that level has been holding selling pressure since um in the last couple of months now and um two weeks ago we saw a break out of the structure which pushed price right above the eleven thousand seven hundred dollar area uh well at the beginning of the week we were thinking that we will be having 
um, a trend continuation to the downside after citing this reversal pattern right above the eleven thousand seven hundred dollar level so we were hoping that um there will be a situation after noticing the breakdown of the neckline at eleven thousand seven hundred so we were thinking that price might likely come back to into our golden zone area before the second wave of a bullish momentum will happen well like we do here um we don't impose our thoughts on the market we want to be f as fluid as possible so that we can um move with the market as price moves so we want to move with the price so one thing we observed when we scaled down to the two hours time frame here was that we started seeing buying pressure hold on a second i want to show you where we've been noticing buying pressure here so we started noticing buying pressure around uh oh okay i think let's um switch my network to the second router so let's see how this goes so okay so we had on our tours time frame we saw we started seeing buying pressure around the eleven thousand five hundred dollar level and that made us think otherwise and said okay re remember we took advantage of this bearish momentum right below this level after the breakdown retest of the eleven thousand seven hundred dollar mark we took advantage of this move right into the structure so we had about uh, how many pips running in profit over 170 pips running in profit and when we started seeing this buy pressure around the eleven thousand five hundred level so we started we started thinking that buyers might likely take over this market so we saw another sharp rejection here and remember i told you to move your stop loss right above the eleven thousand six hundred level and this is exactly what happened price took us out of our sell position has christ price climbed up break out of the eleven thousand six hundred dollar area came back to do a retest of structure and we joined the rally from that level and since then price has continued to move to the upside from this level so i'm um, going into the new york session today well i'm thinking that this bullish momentum might continue at this point as we can see that we already have the eleven thousand seven hundred dollar level that very important key level broken to the upside hold on a second let me bring this eleven thousand seven hundred into our pub view so we have um so we okay so we have the eleven thousand seven hundred dollar seven hundred dollar level broken here and if you look at what has been happening here since the beginning of the week we can see that the eleven thousand seven hundred dollar level was a resistant level um i think the first couple of days of this week before the breakout of that structure happens that is more or less a sign that we might be having an another wave of bullish momentum which has happened already here and another structure that i will be using to guide our trading activity for the new york session today is this bullish trend line you can see on your screen so when i bring out my line chart so we connected this bullish trend line together sorry we connected the lower higher lows together here and we had that um resultant bullish trend line so going into the new york session today i want to be using that trend line as my yardstick for trading activity so what i'll be looking forward to here is as long as price continue to trade right above the um, eleven thousand eight fifty, or let's say let's say eleven thousand eight fifty dollar level i want to be comfortable in my buy position so for those who had missed out on this opportunity here let's see if the market is going to come back again at any point in time probably on our lower time frame uh, do a retest of structure followed by buying pressure on our lower time frame then we could actually join that rally to the upside so as long as price continue to respect that bullish trend line we continue to stay in the street however if price breaks down that bullish trend line in such a way that we have a breakdown of the eleven thousand eight fifty dollar level as you can see how that area shares a confluence with the bearish the bullish trend line here so if price breaks down that tr structure i want to be seeing this as a bearish signal and a retest of structure followed by selling pressure on our lower time frame will be inciting a trend continuation to the downside and if that happens we should be having somewhere around this demand zone area as our take profit target so let's see how this plays out and for those who are buying 
the U.S. tech. If we are buying the U.S. tech, where will our take profit target be? Well, I want us to look at what is happening on the daily time frame. And if we look at what is happening on the daily time frame, I will be suggesting that an area around the $12,300 level will be most appropriate to place our take profit target for now. And the reason why that is, is simply because of this bearish trend line that we identified earlier, which has been holding selling pressure since the beginning of the year. And one thing I want to do here is to see how price action will relate to the structure. So uh, we're going to be waiting to see if we are going to be having um, a reversal pattern below this level to send price crash into the downside or we could be having a breakout retest of structure to send price um, going further to the upside so we want to be placing our take profit target somewhere around the 12,300 12,400 area at least in the meantime let's see how price action relates to that structure so that is that on the US tech if you have any questions feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section so let's quickly run through the charts and see what is happening here um i'll be taking the next 10 to 15 seconds to read through the charts and see if there are any questions before we move on to the next pair okay all right innocent babe i'm glad you are doing fine i'm fine thank you okay i can't wait to listen to analysis on good all right of course we are going to be doing that so stay tuned in uh we have bruno 67 hello how are you doing today good morning uh 587 good morning isla good morning to you did guy good morning all right all right so in the absence of no questions let's move on to the next pair so the next pair we are going to be looking at is the euro usd and in fact the euro usd wasn't good for me personally yesterday it wasn't a good trade for me yesterday as i wasn't able to take advantage of that bullish momentum that took over the markets and uh, it was i later on when i was looking at the chart i was wondering how did i miss that move well uh, i was telling you yesterday that um i'm still expecting a selling opportunity here on the us on the euro usd remember we took advantage of this move right below the 1.03150 level which was serving as the neckline of the reversal pattern we identified earlier at the beginning of the week here remember and we saw the breakdown of the neckline here and i was we took advantage of this bearish move i think that move gave us about let's see how many pips that was it gave us about 90 pips then was taken out of that structure with about 60 pips when price continued to move to the upside here so during the live session yesterday i was expecting that price will come back do a retest of the neckline area where we will be looking out for a reversal pattern around this area to send price go to the downside respecting that bearish trend line one more time but that was not the case here as we saw price take us out of the sell position in a loss as price continued to find higher highs at this point in the market so we had a breakout of the bearish trend line here which at this point in time is looking more like a bullish signal as we can see price broke out that bearish trend line that has been holding selling pressure since last week so that is more or less a signal that price might be going to the upside well uh we can't conclude that yet at this point as we can see how the 1.04500 level has been holding selling pressure since last week and look at what happened here as soon as price got into the structure during the early hours of today we started seeing selling pressure from that area i actually shared this on my trading on my trading view platform where i said it's likely that we might be selling right below the 1.04500 level our selling pressure continue on our lower time frame so i took advantage of this right here and currently price is running with about 45 pips in profit right now and those who took advantage of the selling pressure here well kudos to you for being on standby to take advantage of that move at this point in time so the question now is how far will the selling pressure go now before we go into the details of what our expectation is going to be like for today <laughs> i just caught attention of stimulus comments here 
all right thanks for the compliment all right i'm so glad you are happy to be here and um thanks for everything all right so before we go into the details of what our expectation is going to be like for today well i want us to scale back up into the daily time frame let's understand what is going on around this area remember we have a channel here between the 1.04500 level and the 1.031500 level which has been holding price action since last week though we had the breakdown of the structure this week and when i saw the breakdown of that structure i felt selling opportunities will be coming in at this point but i think we were taking out of that position we're shaking out of that position here has um that move went to the upside from that level so let's scale back up to the daily time frame let's see what is really happening and let's use the structure we have on the daily time frame to decipher what's next we want to be doing here so now scaling back up into the daily time frame what do we have here now on the daily time frame the first structure we identified at the beginning of the week is the bearish trend line and as you can see here this bearish trend line has been holding selling pressure since the beginning of the week sorry since the beginning of um in the last two years now we have been witnessing the selling pressure here and after connecting the series of lower heights we were able to identify this bearish trend line now zooming forward into what has been happening in the later half of this year we can see how important the 1.03750 level is now if you look at what has been happening here since the month of may you can see how the 1.03750 level has been holding selling has been a major determinant of price action look at what happened here in the month of may we saw how this level was holding buying pressure Fast forward into the month of June, we saw another buy pressure around this area, but the pressure here wasn't strong. As soon as price got into this resistance of this bearish trend line, we saw selling pressure, which finally led to the breakdown of that structure in the month of July. And since price broke down the 1.03750 level, you can see that price has continued to trade right below that level to emphasize the strength of the sellers at this point so look at what has happened since the breakdown in the month of july and look at what happened since um the last couple of weeks here we can see that price is back within the 1.03750 level and what makes this level also more important is the fact that it lines up with a bearish trend line that has been holding certain pressure in the last two years now this is what we had um last week we saw a consolidation phase after the breakout of the key level at the one dollar mark we saw our price evolved into a consolidation phase looking like a reversal pattern breakdown of the neckline area and we were expecting that price might come back to do a retest of the structure to send price back into the key level here which also lines up with a bullish trend line that has been holding buying pressure in the last couple of months here where i was out thinking that we might be having another wave of a bullish momentum from that area so this is what we have here yesterday we had this engulfing candle taking us out of negating that reversal structure that we saw here um, at the beginning of the week bring, bringing price right back above the 1.03750 level but at this point in time i'm still very mindful of jumping into any bullish momentum at this point and the reason is simply because price is still around the very key zone here around the 1.03750 which i said also lines up with a bearish trend line here so i am of the opinion that there's still a tendency that we could be seeing sudden pressure from this area so what we want to be doing is to have a better understanding of what is going on here and if we start seeing selling pressure here well i will have no choice but to join that decline to the downside as the current structure here could evolve into a reversal pattern in the form of a double top structure we could have something like this breakdown of the neckline retest of structure sending price into our golden zone area before the second wave of this bullish momentum might happen so at this point in time let's see what is going on here on a lower time frame uh, though we had this engulfing candle break up of the 1.03750 let's see what is really happening and let's use the structure we have on the lower time frame to decipher if we should hold on for a bullish momentum here 
or we should join an outright downtrend from this level so now scaling back down into our one hour time frame what do we have here okay scaling back down to the one hour time frame what do we have okay so we are right back on our one hour time frame and on the one hour time frame uh like i showed you on the on the daily time frame here we have the key level we identified on the daily time frame had a 1.03750 level this level was broken yesterday to the upside around this area uh it's more or less a bullish signal well like i told you whenever we have such signals like that we don't want to get too excited as we want to wait for further confirmation to happen before we want to be joining any any rally from this level so i told you i joined this decline from this level a very strong key, uh, resistant level that has been holding selling pressure since last week so at this point in time i i placed my take profit target at the support area of this channel remember we had a support area of this channel around this area and remember that level was broken at the beginning of the week where we expect Expected that a retest of structure will be sending price crashing to the downside so i have my take profit target around that area and how did i come about this take profit target well i brought out my fibonacci retracement to take into consideration this impulsive move that started last uh, a couple of days ago and we were able to identify somewhere between the 50 and the 78.6 percent of that previous impulse leg uh um, as an area for a possible take profit target so there are two things i'll be looking forward to around this golden zone area i expect price to come back into the structure and if you look at how the structure is you can see we had this bullish trend line figured out at the beginning of the week which has been respected and it's a possibility that price might likely come back into the structure and if you look at how important that level is you can see it also shares a confluence with the bearish trend line that has been holding selling pressure since the beginning of um last week so that level is a very important structure so we want to see how price action might relate to that structure if price goes that far after which we want to be looking out for buying pressure here probably to join the next second wave of a bullish momentum so that is one scenario that might likely happen here or we could be having price break down that structure like it did at the beginning of the week here so if we have a breakdown of that structure then a retest might likely signal another wave of a bearish momentum to the downside from this area so like i said on the daily time frame i'm still of the opinion that a certain pressure could still come in here so we need to be very mindful of just jumping into any bullish momentum at this point the only thing i will say here is that if you to buy the GP, to buy the euro usd uh price two scenarios here price comes back into this level buying pressure then we could buy that is one scenario i want to be looking at then the other scenario is an outright break out of the 1.04500 level that is price breaks out of the 1.04500 level and then probably a retest then we could join that rally to the upside but if price does not break above the 1.04 500 level i would not be thinking of buying the euro usd at this point considering what we identified on the daily time frame as you know we're still within that bearish trend line that major bearish trend line that has been holding selling pressure in the last two years on this pair so let's see how this is going to play out during the new york session today so my expectation still remains um a bearish momentum right into the 1.03150 level which also shares a confluence with like one two three parameters here we have the bullish trend line we have the bearish trend line here and let's see how price action relates to that structure if we are going to be having a reversal pattern here then we want to be joining a trend consideration to the upside and if a breakdown happens then definitely we want to be looking for selling an opportunity at a retest of structure so that is what i will be looking forward to here on the euro usd if you have any questions feel free to drop in your inquiries in the comment section and let's see how i can be of help in that regard so that is that on the euro usd so let's move on to the next pair 
And the next pair we are going to be looking at is a um, is a silver that is the XAG USD. And on the silver we have a profitable scenario here as price action has moved in our favor and see what we have here very interesting scenario here though at the beginning of the week we were expecting a bearish momentum at the beginning of the week after considering this long-term bearish momentum that we have been witnessing on this on the spare so at the beginning of the week we finally saw the breakout of the 21 dollar level that very important key level on the daily time frame i think i should show you that quickly for those who missed out on our earlier session so let's quickly run through the daily time frame here so on the daily time frame we observe that price action has been on a long-term bearish momentum here and the next thing we observed was that uh, we connected the lower lows lower highs here and we had this resultant bearish trend line the green line on your screen and the next structure that is very key to this level is the 21 dollar area and look at how this 21 dollar level has been a major determinant of price action since the month of may we saw our price action came into the structure here we saw demand zone around this level we saw buying pressure again here in the month of june though the pressure here wasn't strong as it was met with strong resistance from the sellers which finally led to the breakdown of the 21 dollar level and since the breakdown of that level happened in the month of june price has continued to trade below the 21 dollar area to emphasize the strength of the sellers at this point in the market however a couple of weeks ago i think the first week of this month we saw a breakout of that very trend line which also lines up with the breakout of the 21 dollar area to give us a bullish signal but at this point we are not getting too excited because this could turn out to be a false breakout so we saw price come back into the 21 dollar level and at the beginning of the week we were looking forward to joining a further decline into somewhere around here before the second wave of that bullish momentum will happen but we were caught with a surprise uh on the second day as we saw a breakout of the 21 dollar level which i was showing you on the day, on the one hour time frame so let's run back to the one hour time frame and let's see what i'm talking about here so right now we go back to the one hour time frame so on the one hour time frame we saw the breakout of the 21 dollar level so this is the 21 dollar level i was showing you on the daily time frame here so that's that's here we go so we saw the breakout of the structure here um on tuesday price came back to do a retest of structure and we started seeing buying pressure right above the 21 dollar level and this was a sign that buyers might likely take over this market so uh, good for us fortunately for us we positioned ourselves very well and we took advantage of the buying opportunity right above the 21 dollar level and since then price has continued to climb to the upside here and we have over 500 pips here in our kitty so now with this situation we have here for those who are still in this trade well i will be advising you to move your stop loss lock in some profit right below the 21 dollar 45 cent level i think that is most appropriate at this point let's lock in our profit there to see how price action will be relating to the current structure that we have here so at the beginning of the week i told you that um we identified the sell window here around the $21.60 level and this was as a result of taking into consideration this impulsive move that started last week and we expect that this is like likely going to be a retracement phase of that impulse leg so we used our fibonacci retracement tool to identify a golden zone around this level and we said we will be looking out for selling pressure around this area to join the second wave of the bearish momentum that started last week and if we look at the structure here as soon as price got into the 21 dollar 70 cent level um during the early hours of today we have started noticing selling pressure around this area so in the last let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 in the last 10 hours now we have been seeing selling pressure here negating all buying attempt to push price further to the upside at this point so during the early hours of today what i did on my public platform was to identify a structure with the hopes that we might be seeing a situation where price action would evolve into a reversal pattern in probably 
it, it might be a double top structure where the 21 dollar 50 cent level will be serving as a neckline as anywhere below the 21 dollar 50 cent level could incite a wave of a bearish momentum so that is the second wave of the bearish momentum that started last week so i'm looking forward to see how this is going to hold so i'm thinking that price action below the 21 dollar 50 cent level should be welcoming an opportunity to sell the xag usd so we have a situation here if price continues to the downside takes us out of our buy position here and then if a retest of structure happens we want to be joining on lower time frame and if price continues to downside i want to be placing my take profit target in the meantime right around the 20 dollar 70 cent level an area which has been holding um, buying pressure since the beginning of the week this is where we are at the beginning of the week and if we look at what happened on thursday last week we saw buying pressure around this area so in the meantime placing my take profit target around the 20 dollar 70 cent level should be most appropriate at this point now there is a catch here considering the fact that price action has been on a bullish momentum since the beginning of this week uh we were able to connect the series of higher lows here to give us that resultant bullish trend line you can see on your screen as the as the dash dotted line sorry the dotted line the green dotted line on your screen here and there is a tendency that price might respect that trend line so we won't ignore the possibility of price respecting that trend line in such a way that we start seeing buying pressure around this area to push price to the upside so even though we're joining this decline having our take profit target around the 20 dollar 70 cent level we need to be very mindful of what happens around this major key level this key level had a 21 dollar 40 cent level and if you look at the structure here you can see at uh, since the beginning of the week this level has been a resistant point where sellers at old in this year to push price to the downside we saw an attempt here on tuesday we saw another attempt here yesterday as well during the new york session before we witnessed the breakout of that structure and from a technical standpoint whenever we have a breakout of structure there is a tendency that price might come back to do a retest of that structure to incite another wave of a bullish momentum so we want to be taking this into consideration so what we are going to be doing if we sell right below the 21 dollar 50 cent area is to look out for how price will relate to the structure so we wait for that move our stop loss probably to break even or locking your profits around the 21 dollar 50 cent area or 21 dollar 45 cent area let's see how price action relates to the structure and if we start seeing buying pressure around that area uh, then we want to buy then price takes us out of our sell position and we continue to enjoy the trend continuation to the upside from that level but if that does not happen if that does not happen and price breaks down the the 21 dollar 40 cent level then we want to be seeing this as a bearish signal as the bullish trend line here is no longer strong enough to hold by pressure here and if a breakdown retest of structure happens this could welcome another opportunity to add more position to our existing trade and if price continue further to the downside in such a way that it breaks down this very important key level at the 21 dollar level then we might be having another opportunity to add more position to the trade so the selling opportunity on the xcg usd has a tendency of having multiple entries so it is our job here to be on standby to be able to take advantage of this opportunity when they finally happen so this is what i'll be looking forward to on the xa usd um selling opportunity here and i told you how much we still we're going to keep our options open for possibilities of buying opportunity coming in from this structure so that is that on the xag usd if you have any questions feel free to drop your inquiry in the comment section of this video so um let's move on to the next pair the next one we are going to be looking at here is the um is the gbp usd uh, so let's see what happens here on the gbp USD. 
So on the GBP USD, um, we, um, the same thing that happened to me on the Euro USD happened to me here. I missed the bullish momentum that um, that took over this market. And in fact, I uh, later on when I was watching, I wondered how I missed that move when I saw it break out of this bearish trend line, retest of that structure and price climbed up above the 1.19 area. And in fact, it was so unfortunate for me, but it's okay. But for those who are taking advantage of that move, kudos to you for being on standby to take advantage of that move. Well, we are at a point present structure right now that we are not sure if price will continue to go to the upside or we're going to be having a reversal pattern that will be sending price back into the trend line that has been holding buying pressure since the beginning of this month so look at what we have here on the one hour time frame look at how this trend line has been holding buying pressure since the beginning of the month so the pounds has been very bullish and we still have this trend line here and i'm of the opinion that since we had the breakout of this trend line this bearish trend line here um during uh, the west this session well uh well let's see if price might likely give us another opportunity to join the bullish momentum uh where we might be having a situation where price might come back to do a retest of this bullish trend line or the trend line here that was broken yesterday so we have this trend line here let me extend it out a little further so that we can capture the confluence so we have this trend line here so we had the trend line here so we might be seeing price come back into that structure but if we are going to be looking for selling opportunity where price might come back into the structure i have identified somewhere right around the 1.20800 area where i think tend to look for selling opportunities below the structure so if price breaks down the structure uh price breaks down retest then i want to be selling the gp usd in such a way that i will be having my take profit target right around the 1.18500 or the 1.1900 level at this area so if we price comes here and we start seeing buying pressure around this area then we want to be getting ready to join the second wave of that bullish momentum so at this point in time like i said i have missed this opportunity i've missed this bullish momentum so i want to wait for market to present another opportunity to add more position to this trade so this is what i'll be looking forward to on the jp usd so i hope that we have a selling opportunity here right below the 1.020800 level before the second wave of that bullish momentum happens at this point in the market so let's see how this plays out and for those who are in this trade this bullish momentum here well i will be advising you to move your stop loss to somewhere around this 1.20500 area here and let's see what happens afterwards so this is what i'll be looking forward to on the gpp usd so moving on to the last pair we are going to be talking about for today that is the xau usd that is the gold hold on a second um i think also i can see some comments about the network here so let me switch my router and um, let's have something let's test run the other one and see which one is better here okay stimula says that he's on gp usd buy well congratulations to you guy i i missed that my bad i really missed that sincerely i was caught up with the selling expectation at the beginning of the week well done so i tried to switch my network i hope this is better so i hope this one is better all right so let's have this going and um we have the xag usd and on the xau usd the gold uh we are in a profitable situation right now as we took advantage of the buy opportunity right above the 1744 dollar level as we can see here this is where we were yesterday we were around here yesterday and i told you 
remember we took advantage of this bearish momentum at the beginning of the week and i told you to move your stop loss to um, lock in some profit around 500 pips thereabout and i told you that um, because of the citation of buying pressure around the 1730 dollar level we might be seeing a situation where price might climb up to the upside and to make our job easier yesterday i was able to identify this um, bearish trend line and i said we should be using this as a yardstick for trading activity and we had the breakout of that structure here retest of the structure and right above the 1744 level was a very good scenario for us to join that rally to the upside and if you are taking advantage of that move here kudos to you for being on standby to take advantage of that move so right now if you are taking advantage of that move you will currently be running with over a thousand two hundred pips in profit which is not bad anyway so one thing next the next thing we want to be doing at this point is to lock in some profit here and let's see what happened afterwards so where is going to be good for us to lock in some profit here so with the current structure we have here look at what we have here since the beginning of this week we have the resistant level since the beginning of the week price started here and we saw the breakout of that structure here during the early hours of today we saw a retest of that level so one thing i'll be saying here is somewhere right below the 1752 level will be serving as a good area to place our stop loss let's protect our position at this point as we never can tell we could be having the second wave of the bearish momentum starting from this structure in this market now going into the new york session today what is going to be our plans how do we expect to trade this remember at the beginning of the week we have been expecting a selling momentum here after identifying this reversal pattern that we had here and we had our neckline around the 1755 level and we saw the breakdown of the neckline here and from a technical standpoint whenever we have a breakdown of the structure what do we expect next of course we expect that price will come back do a retest of that structure to incite another wave of a bearish momentum so this is what we have here now and what we have here since the beginning of today is that price has been rejecting the 1755 level and at this point i'm seeing this as a selling pressure and we don't know if price will be retesting the structure to send another wave of a bearish momentum so what we are going to be doing here to be able to catch that move if a selling opportunity comes in here is to wait and see if price breaks down the 1753 level a level which was holding resistant area which was holding certain pressure at the beginning of the week so what we want to be seeing during the new york session to sell is that price drops below the 1753 level takes us out of our buy position retest of structure followed by certain pressure on our lower time frame then we could actually join that decline to the downside so this is the simple thing i will be looking forward to here on the on the xau usd and where is our tip profit target going to be well i told you we identified the structure at the beginning of the week where we said we're going to be taking this impulsive move into consideration the one that started a couple of weeks ago and we want to be seeing this as a retracement of that impulse leg and how far this retracement phase is going to go was projected within the golden zone area that is between the 50 and the 78.6 percent of the previous impulse leg which also lines up with this bullish trend line here where i said we might be looking forward to another wave of that bullish momentum so let's see how this goes so take profit target remains around the 1730 and the 1680 area let's see how this goes and if price continue to go to the downside in such a way that we have a breakdown hold on a second we have a breakdown of this support level here then we want to be using this a retest of structure to add more position to this trade so let me draw that structure so that i can make things easier for us during the new york session today so we had this bullish trend line at the beginning of the week so if price breaks this bullish trend line in any way we also have the support level here retest of structure we want to be adding more position to our existing trade so let's see how this plays out during the new york session today those who are already in this trade please ensure you have moved your stop loss i've identified somewhere around the 1750 dollar area to lock in some profits at this point uh, all right so let's see how this goes and um 
we'll come back here tomorrow to do a review of what happens afterwards so and one thing i also stated here is that we still have a sell window above here so if price continues to the upside uh breaks above the 1075 a retest of structure you could add more position to your existing trade and wait out for selling pressure around this area to join that decline to the downside so we have two scenarios to sell we have one right below the 1753 and we have another area around here so if price climbs above the 1075 retest of structure we could add more position to this trade and um, wait for selling opportunity around this area to join the price to the downside but if price breaks down the 1753 level retest of structure then we want to be joining the decline to the downside so these are my views here on the XAUUSD, and on this note i want to be calling it a day so the next thing we're going to be doing now is to do a quick recap of what our expectations are let's see what our expectations are for today uh for the sake of those who actually missed out or uh, the um from the missed out the beginning of the session so let's quickly do a recap let's show what our expectations are for today so we have the situation here on the u.s oil and we had a bearish opportunity running at this point in time and i told you to move your stop loss right above the 78 dollar 50 cent level let's lock in some profit at this point and one thing we observed after after this bearish momentum is that price has been caught within a channel right within the 78 dollar level and the 77 dollar area as you can see here we have a very strong channel here hereby emphasizing the indecision in this market so what i said here is this we want to be patient enough to look out for a breakout or a breakdown of the structure to give us a clue of where price will be heading during the new york session today so we we could either have a breakout to the upside here price going up and i told you if price goes up we want to be having our take profit target at around the 85 dollar area and there is a catch here remember we said as soon as price moved to the upside we are on the downtrend scenario here and this is more or less going to be a counter trend opportunity as soon as price moves to the upside it moves into the 79 dollar level we move our stop loss to break even if price climbs up move into the 80 dollar area we move our stop loss right below the 79 dollar area and if price climbs further up into the 81 dollar 10 cent area which shares a confluence with the bearish trend line that has been holding selling pressure in the last two weeks we want to be moving our stop loss right below the 80 dollar area and let's see if a breakout of the structure happens and if a breakout happens that means the bearish trend line is no longer strong enough to hold by pressure a retest of structure followed by buying pressure on our lower time frame should incite another wave of bullish momentum here however if price evolves into a reversal pattern right below the bearish trend line here evolving into selling pressure then we might want to be joining the sell momentum to the downside so that is how we want to be buying the exit the us oil here however if price breaks down the 77 dollar 30 cent level i have told you that this is like could turn out to be a sell trade a trend continuation pattern so we what if a trend continuation pattern happens here i will be suggesting that we place our take profit targets around if this psychological level had the 75 dollar mac area and let's see how price action plays out on that from that level so that is that on the us oil then we went on to talk about um talk about the us tech where we have been in we are still in profit on the us tech we took advantage of this move right here on tuesday we took advantage of this buy opportunity we took advantage of this breakout retest of structure another opportunity came here this morning we took advantage of this one here and i told you that okay for those who had missed out on this one let's see how price action plays out from here uh let's see if price will come back to do a retest of that bullish trend line so to make our job easier during the new york session today i was able to connect the series of higher lows here that is this trend line and we shall be using this trade line to guide our trading activity so if price continues to trade above the eleven thousand eight fifty dollar area we want to be comfortable in our buy position and a retest of structure should welcome additional position to our existing trade so that is that on the 
us tech now if price breaks down that bullish trend line in such a way that we have a breakdown of the 11,850, i want to be seeing this as a bearish signal a retest of structure should be giving us further confirmation to join that decline and if the decline happens I have said we should have our take profit target around the $11,500 mark, an area which has been holding buying pressure since last week. So this is what we are looking forward to on the US tech. And let's see, the next pair we looked at is the Euro USD. And on the Euro USD, I told you how I took advantage of a bearish momentum this morning after price retested and selling pressure was identified right around the 1.04500 level so this is the scenario we have here on the euro usd uh we saw selling pressure around that level since last week and the same thing happened during the early hours of today so we we'll continue to watch how this is going to play out remember we had the breakout of this trend line breakout of the 1.03150 which signals a bullish signal here so there is a tendency that price might likely come back to do a retest of the structure to evolve into another wave of a bullish momentum so let's see how this is going to play out and for those who missed out on the opportunity that we took right below the 1.04500 level let's see if a breakdown of the 1.03 800 level happens retest of structure followed by selling pressure you might want to join a that area and place your take profit target around this level so like i said if price further breaks down the 1.03150 retest of structure should welcome additional position to our existing trade so i'm still expecting a selling opportunity here on the euro usd as price action is being monitored however to buy the euro usd the only way to buy the euro usd is to look out for um price breaking out of the 1.04500 level retest of structure then we want to be joining that rally to the upside but if price does not break out of the 1.04500 level i don't want to be thinking of buying the euro usd at this point the only way to look out for buying the euro usd is around this area which i've identified here around the 1.03150 so that is that on the euro usd then we went on to talk about the xag usd silver where we are already in profit on this one and i told you to move your stop loss right below the 21 dollar 50 cent level let's lock in some profit here as we have started since selling pressure around the sell window we identified at the beginning of the week so one thing i'm looking forward to during the new york session today is a breakdown of the 21 dollar 50 cent level to join a decline to the downside and one thing i said here is that we should be mindful of our price action relates to the 21 dollar 40 cent area which shares a confluence with the bullish trend line that has been holding buying pressure since the beginning of the week so this area might likely turn out to um uh, uh reject this level where buying pressure comes in to incite another wave of a bullish momentum and if that happens we want to be joining that bullish momentum and if that does not if a breakdown of the 21 dollar 40 cent happens retest of structure should welcome another position to to this trade uh the breakdown of the 21 dollar 21 dollar level that very important key level we identified on the daily time frame retest of structure should be welcoming additional position to our existing trade on this one so that is what i'm looking forward to on the xag usd then we went on to talk about the gbp usd here where i said i'm looking forward to a selling opportunity here right below the 1.20800 area which i think is going to be a retracement of this impulse leg here and uh, that my move push price right down into the 1.19 area an area which shares a confluence with the bullish trend line that has been holding buying pressure since the beginning of this month so we're going to be looking out for opportunities to buy here around this level if that happens here but if a breakdown of that structure happens then this is a bearish signal retest of structure welcome additional position to this trade and for those who took advantage of this opportunity here at the breakout of the 1.190 level here well i've told you to move your stop loss and somewhere around the 1.20500 area is an area i think you should be moving your stop loss to 
hardest points in the market now we moved on to talk about the xau usd and on the xau usd we are we also running profitable here with over a thousand pips running in profit here and the first thing i said is that you move your stop loss right below the 1753 level to lock in some profit here as we started seeing selling pressure right around the 1755 level which appears to be the neckline structure of the reversal pattern we identified at the beginning of the week so we had a breakdown of the neckline here on on last week friday then price appears to be retesting that structure here one thing i said here let's remain patient if this is going to turn out to be a selling opportunity where we should be looking for something right below the 1753 to join the decline to the downside here and our take profit target remains around the 1727 and the 1680 dollar area so let's see how this plays out now if price breaks above the 1755 level if a retest of that structure happened with followed by buying pressure you might want to add more position to your trade and then let's have our take profit target within the sell window here where i said i'm still expecting selling opportunities from this area to the downside so this is my scenario here on the xau usd then we close the day with the usd jpy sorry oh sorry <laughs> i didn't trust you as a jpy okay actually us oh that is all for today anyways so that is all for today and um i wish us all the best of luck today what's happening in the comment section i okay steam roller all right no problem no problem uh, okay can you uh, explain a bit for me how to identify selling or buying pressure after a retest of structure Oh, well, um, in this kind of scenario, okay, let's quickly use the XAUSD for instance. At this case, so we had um, a breakout of the structure here. We had a breakout of the structure here, and price came back to do a retest of the 1753. And one thing you will even notice here on the daily time frame is that we have been witnessing multiple rejection of this level. As soon as price gets into the 1753, we continue to see buyers continue to push price from that level at this point. And if we scale further down into probably five minutes time frame for the case of this explanation you can see that you can see that very visibly here on the five minutes time frame here so this is the 1753 which i showed you on the, the on the one hour time frame and look at what happened after the breakout of the structure happened here you can see price came back to do a retest of the structure so we can see buying pressure here we saw every time price comes within this level it pushes price to the upside it comes within this level here again we saw sharp rejection it pushes price to the upside so most of the time people look out for candle patterns like hammer candle um engulfing candle whatever the case may be you can look out for you can do your research on all the type of candlestick candlesticks that support bullish momentum or bearish momentum so that you can see what you want to be looking for around that area to take advantage of that opportunity when price comes back to do a retest of structure so that's the most simple um situation i can explain to you here now if a price breaks down the structure in the case for for instance i'm explaining i'm expecting price to break down that structure so if price breaks down that structure in such a way that we have an engulfing candle taking us out of that structure that is taking out all the buy position here then this is not a rejection anymore it's a breakdown of the structure it has negated all selling pressure all buying pressure around that area so that is what i will that's the only way i can explain right now and we could actually talk about that personally if you really didn't understand what i just explained here i hope you are still around to see what i just explained um steamroller all right so we have um susi mb good morning um just a nine nine all right okay innocent babe um you are simply the best everyone can easily understand uh, okay uh thanks a lot i take that as a compliment and you're welcome all right on this note i want to be wishing you the best of luck today and please don't get too excited when you see a signal in the form of a breakout of a structure we want to be patient enough to look out for a retest of structure for further confirmation to either join the rally or decline as the case may be so do have a wonderful uh day Best of luck and bye-bye. <laughs>